and in all honesty the failure that a lot of people fear it's not failure of disappointing themselves but they fear being laughed at by other people because if you were failing privately and nobody was seeing that you were failing i think a lot of people would not have a problem with failing but the fact that if you fail publicly and people are looking at you and they're laughing at you that is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't want to fail you have been fed so much information about how bad failure is that you look down upon people who fail so you don't want to be one of those people so you never take any risks you never grow you are just stagnant in life simply because you don't want to do anything that's going to temper with your winning state. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Perseverance Maremeni, also known as Madam Speaker, also known as the CEO of Self Love. If you're joining in for the first time, welcome to the family. Please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the continuous love and support that you are showing me today. We're going to be talking about self-sabotage. You guys, when I tell you that, when I opened my phone and I wanted to check on the notes because I wanted to write something down because I wanted to make it a five-point self-sabotage type of thing to say why are you self-sabotaging and how can you avoid self-sabotaging the shock of my life when i found a note that i made last year i'm just gonna read it out loud for you i made this note on the 7th of november 2022 at 8 57 self-neglect is another form of abuse you lay a foundation that enables other people to abuse you as well demonstrate how you want to be loved by loving yourself in that manner this is so scary for me guys because uh, this is obviously very much aligned with self-sabotage and this is a topic that i have been parking for the longest time and let me tell you something every time when i park a topic and i don't want to talk about it for whatever reason um it bugs me like literally it eats me up you know it's not a fun fact actually it's a very scary fact because a lot of topics that i talk about are actually not comfortable topics and imagine having to talk about something that is in your heart for the longest time and you have been avoiding it I really feel like a journal of my lifetime sometimes because I really run away from certain topics but I always find myself back at the very same topics that I've been running away from because this is actually one of the same thing that I'm going to be talking about today. So now for those who don't know what self-sabotage is or those who are actually self-sabotaging and are not aware. Self-sabotaging is when you do something that is not for your best interest and sometimes you would wonder why would somebody want to just hurt themselves. It's not deliberate. When you self-sabotage, sometimes you're not even aware that you're sabotaging yourself, okay? So sometimes you sabotage yourself through the words that you say, through just, you know, relationships, through your actions, you sabotage yourself and you're not even aware that what you're doing is self-sabotage. And if you're an African like me, you will probably think, hmm, there's a witch in my village who is bewitching me not to do better. No, you are self-sabotaging and we're going to break down five reasons why you are self-sabotaging and how you can overcome self-sabotage, all right? We can still pray and fast, but this one you need to learn. You, you, you need to just, you need to do this one more thing for yourself. On top of you having to fast and pray and being delivered, this is one of the things that you need to do for yourself, okay? So the first reason why you self-sabotage is because you lack self-worth and You'd wonder, well, what do you mean I lack self-worth? Because I'm one person who's always looking beautiful. I wear my makeup. I make sure when they say show up, I show up for real. So what self-worth? Um, okay, I'm big on talking about healing from childhood traumas. And self-worth has a lot to do with how you were raised, how you were brought up. Because I believe that when you were a child, you are like a sponge. You absorb a lot. I speak about this a lot. That when you were a child, you absorb a lot. And when you grow up, all that you've been absorbing, you now release it. Because as a child, you only can take what is being given to you. You can't defend yourself. You can't question the status quo. You can't do anything. You can literally just take whatever that is being given to you. But at a later stage, when you feel like whatever it is that has been given to you is not working for you, then you can work on healing from that and just, you know, getting rid of all the toxic energy and the toxic stuff that you absorbed as a child. So a lot of people have been made to believe that they're worth nothing, they are not good enough, and they've been ignored as children, you know, and as a result, you lack self-worth. And when you lack self-worth, that is one way for you to sabotage yourself because no matter how hard God is showing to you that, listen, my child, I got you, you can do this, you end up just sabotaging yourself. No matter what you do, you end up just sabotaging yourself because you've been made to believe that you will never amount to anything in life and on top of you having to pray about that i'm going to emphasize on this right on top of you having to pray about that 
you really need to just work on the fact that listen this that is in me that says that i can't do this it's not because i can't do this but it's because i grew up hearing this a lot and i just need to get this out of my system all right you need to get all of that toxic energy out of your system and stop feeling like you are nothing right you are something you are fearfully and wonderfully made i know it's we be going to say that because we quote scripture to scripture i am fearfully and wonderfully made by god i'm the head and not the tail but you get home you still don't want to do anything you get home you still feel like you are nothing you get home you still feel like the opportunities which have been presented to you you are not worth them because of the self-worth because of the lack of self-worth that you have all right so we're gonna go back to the note that i made on the 7th of november 2022 about what self neglect self-neglect is another form of abuse you lay a foundation that enables other people to abuse you as well demonstrate how you want to be loved by loving yourself in that manner madam speaker so i really want you to understand that the reason why you are neglecting yourself and you feel like you are not worth it it's not because you brought that upon yourself because a lot of people like saying that listen you have the final say and this and that yes you do have the final say but you need to be patient with yourself when it comes to working on yourself and improving yourself and becoming a better version of yourself all right so you need to work on that self-neglect and that lack of self-worth so that you can really value yourself appreciate yourself reason number two it's the fear of success yeah, I know it sounds crazy because we desire beautiful things. We want to be happy. We want to be rich. We want to be this. But a lot of people actually do fear success. And you fearing success means that you are comfortable in the state that you are in. And you feel like if you become more successful or too successful, you're not going to be afforded a lot of opportunities in life. I read a post the other day. I'm going to put it right here. Gundi Trash Boat wrote one of the many mistakes women make, thinking that men are attracted to wealthy women. The richer you get, the less attractive you become. I shared that post and said, in other words, tools down ladies don't work so that you can attract more men. That is trash, trash, trash. It's crazy. I shared it. I made a joke about it. But in all honesty, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people fear success, especially as women, because really it's so tough because you don't know when you are not successful as a woman, they will call you, you know, you are a gold digger when you expect a man to do everything for you but when you are successful at the same time you are called that you are too successful men will run away from you because no man wants a woman who's way too successful too powerful so the in between is just a lot you know it's a lot on a child because when a child is growing up and they're reading posts like if you are too educated if you are too powerful if you have too much money as a woman men are gonna run away from you the child is confused to say okay should i not work hard now should i let my tools down now and also so you read somebody else saying listen i'm struggling i'm sitting in this position that i'm at because i'm not working if i was working i would have left this toxic relationship and whatever and you ask yourself okay should i liberate myself by going to school it's just a hot mess but bottom line is that the fear of success is one of the reasons why people self-sabotage so for you not to get there not to get to a point where you are too powerful you are too big you can't relate to anybody in your circle then you sabotage yourself so that you can remain in that same place you just become stagnant and you don't go anywhere simply because you have all these reasons why you are sabotaging yourself and you don't have to do any of that okay it's okay for you to be successful it's okay for you to just make it in life. It's okay for you to be the best version of yourself because that's what God has intended you to be. The best version of yourself, all right? The third point now is the fear of failure. Hmm? It's tricky, eh? Fear of success, fear of failure. Sometimes you fearing failure means that you're not even willing to take risks in life and you may find that those risks that you're supposed to take are actually going to make you successful. But because you've heard a lot about you being a failure in life, you would rather not even try anything that's going to make you or expose you um i always say that a lot of people don't try new things because they fear failure and in all honesty the failure that a lot of people fear it's not failure of disappointing themselves but they fear being laughed at by other people because if you were failing privately and nobody was seeing that you were failing i think a lot of people would not have a problem with failing but the fact that if you fail publicly and people are looking at you and they're laughing at you that is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't want to fail you know because at the end of the day the reason why you are in this position where you feel like you know what failure is not my portion is because you've heard a lot about you failing or about how bad it is to fail or maybe you have been fed so much 
much information about how bad failure is that you look down upon people who fail so you don't want to be one of those people so you never take any risks you never grow you are just stagnant in life simply because you don't want to do anything that's going to temper with your winning state you know you just want to sit in your comfort zone which is like a winning comfort zone because if you didn't try anything and fail and you are sitting here you have nothing to lose but also you're as good as dead if you have not tried anything new in life if you've not taken up any challenges in life routine life every day boring 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 so you don't have to fear failure guys failure is part of growing right okay number four we're gonna be talking about familiarity as a form of self-sabotage all right this is very much relatable to the previous video that i posted i'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description box down below and i was talking about dating in my 30s and dating after divorce all right and I was talking a lot about, you know, I have experience and this and this and that. So when you've been in this position before or when somebody, especially during dating, right? If you're in a relationship and you feel like, okay, this person is showing me something that I've already seen in the past. So when somebody now does something like this, it's time for me to run away. Okay, I've been in this position before in my life and I know when life shows me this, this is what is about to happen and you run away. And sometimes things are not even the same. Circumstances are not even the same and your own uh, judgment could be clouded by the the fact that you are familiar and you have not healed from you having gone through something similar in the past or something familiar in the past so meaning that every time when you reach that point where you feel like okay when i cross this line now i'm gonna get hurt then you run away you self-sabotage but if you are approaching it in a sense that maybe you're not even familiar with this you've never even been through this in the past you could actually succeed you know so familiarity is one of the reasons why we sabotage ourselves and we end up losing big time so it's one thing that you need to really reconsider especially when you want to try new things and you want to grow in life and you just want to move away from sabotaging yourself it's okay for you to fail as many times as possible it's okay for you to pass something which is similar to what you've passed through before and i need you to understand that people are not the same situations are not the same things are different if you're dealing with a new human being you need to like open a blank page start from scratch forget about all the other things that you've been through in the past all right last but not least number five conflicting thoughts all right i think i suffer from that a lot you know because when i have to make big decisions about certain things especially if they involve other people it becomes such uh, you it becomes a big problem for me to make a decision especially when it involves other people because i really don't want to disappoint people you know and i'm learning how to actually understand that it's okay to disappoint people sometimes because even though i'm gonna be planning my things um sometimes things don't always go the way that we have planned them out right now i'm planning second annual women's conference uh, one is in Polokwane and one is in Pretoria. The Pretoria is going to be the second time that I'm doing it and Polokwane is going to be the first time. So you can imagine the conflicting thoughts that I have when it comes to just the whole planning of the event. And, you know, from time to time, I have to sit in my moment you know in my corner and remind myself why am i doing this in the first place and why did i choose these two towns you know specifically because whatever it is that i am deciding on when it comes to doing these things it really is from my heart you know so i need to just work on that you know that's one thing that i'm really working on and i would like to encourage everyone who's watching this to also work on that to say listen uh when you are having conflicting thoughts at the end of the day it's either you may make decisions which are bad or you may end up being stuck in one place because you don't even know what are the right decisions to make or not so for you not to be stagnant and not end up sabotaging yourself because of these conflicting thoughts you need to go back to exhibit a the reason why you need to make this decision in the first place the reason why you are doing what you are supposed to be doing in the first place and you are good to go if you fail it goes back to the other points that i've mentioned in the past to say it's okay to fail it's okay to try new things it's okay to try all over again if you have failed all right okay with that being said thank you so much for joining in if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and let's continue with the self-sabotage conversation in the comment section down below and let me know what you think all right i love you so much bye